Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And the 49ers are bringing in a former tight, Titans tight end and not the one that we thought would be um, brought in. We thought it would be Delaney Walker, but this is actually Michael Prute. Um, and so per his agent, he has signed with the San Francisco 49ers and will be added to a tight end room that obviously, you know, the likes of George Kittle. I mean, arguably, you know, the best tight end in the game, certainly top two um, across in, in terms of in the league. You know, you cannot argue that aspect of it. And he is certainly that bright spot on the offense. Um, but aside from him, I mean, they've got, you know, Charlie Warner, they've got um, Ross um, Dwelly, and they've got Josh Peterson. I'm currently battling it out behind um, George Kittle to see, you know, that pecking order in terms of the tight end position. And so, so now they're going to be adding um, Michael to the mix as well. And so um, when it comes to a little bit about, you know, Michael and what he actually will be bringing in terms of his experience in the NFL, he's been in the league going back to 2015 um, out of Southern Illinois. And so his first stint was with the Minnesota Vikings in which he got to suit up for all 16 games and he got to start three games. He had, um, 10 receptions, 89 yards, um, averaging 8.9 yards a catch. And then in 2016, he spent some time with the Vikings, some time with the Bears. Um, he ended up with a total of four games in which he suited up for. Um, and during that time, he was targeted twice and had two catches for 13 yards. Um, fast forward to 2017 with the Houston Texans, and he would only get to suit up for one game. Um, and then in 2018 with the Titans, he got to suit up for eight for 15 games, um, and he even got to make a start. He had a total of nine receptions on 11 targets for 102 yards, averaging 11.3 yards, a catch, and a receiving touchdown. Um, in 2019, still with the Titans, he would get to um, suit up for 16 games, make 10 starts, and he would have um, six receptions for 90 yards, um, as well as a receiving touchdown. And in 2020, um, he would play 11 games, start four, and would get to um, and had five receptions for 49 yards, averaging 9.8 yards a catch and two receiving touchdowns. And so all this according to Pro Football Reference. And so a little bit more so about his, you know, time at Southern Illinois. And so um, as a, well, even before then, actually, in high school, he was a three-time all-conference defensive end and first-team all-conference tight end in 2009, in which he caught 30 passes for 397 yards and six um, receiving touchdowns, posted 50 tackles and 14 tackles for a loss and six sacks. So he also, you know, is playing on two sides of the ball, obviously, defensive end and tight end. Um, and, and his team advanced to the second round of the playoffs his junior season, um, they went 10 and one and made the state playoffs during his sophomore year. And he caught um, seven passes for 140, 48 yards and three touchdowns as a freshman. So he was a four year honor roll student in high school and also played basketball and volleyball. He led his hoops team to a 2008, 2009 district championship and attended the same high school as Philadelphia Eagles receiver, Jeremy Macklin. So how about that? That is really interesting there. Um, he ended up, um, graduating in 2014, and that would be from, you know, Southern Illinois with a bachelor's degree in industrial technology. So fast forward to his, where it all began, you know, for him at the collegiate level in 2010 as a freshman, he was red shirted and was, um, well, yeah, he was red shirted his um, freshman year. And then you fast forward to his red shirt freshman year in 2011. Um, and he was the honorable mention all conference selection, earned a spot on the MB. FC all newcomer team named team receiver MVP by teammates and led the team in receptions, receiving yards and receiving touchdowns in which he started eight games, including the final seven games of the season and posted career highs with eight catches and 124 um, yards against Youngtown State um, and caught three touchdown passes all in the last five games of the season. Um, and caught at least three passes in each of the final eight games of the season. And so pretty good for a redshirt freshman, I will say, um, especially at the tight end position. Um, in 2012, as a sophomore, um, the Sports Network third team All-American, first team All-MVFC selection, selected, I mean, started all 11 games at tight end, led the team in receptions with 49 and receiving yards 577 and touchdown receptions with four. 
and so fourth nationally among tight ends in receiving yards and sixth nationally among tight ends in receptions per games and ranked fifth in the MVFC in receptions and sixth in receiving yards per game with 52.5 and led all MVFC tight ends in both categories. Now, as a junior, he made the first team All-American selection by the AFCA, the Sports Network Associated Press and FCS Athletic Directors Association, um, 2013 CFPA Tight End Award Honoree as top tight end in the FCS, first team All-MVFC, and started 10 games. He missed the final two games of the season after playing the second half against um, Missouri State with a broken leg. Um, and then he led the MVFC and, and third in the nation in receptions at 48 by a tight end and led the MVFC and second in the nation in um, receiving yards by a tight end with 601 and third in the MVFC with 4.8 receptions per game. Now, as a senior, he was named to the first team All-American by the Associated Press, the AFCA and the ADA the Sports Network, and Walter Camp Foundation, first team all MVFC selection, CFPA, FCS tight end in the tight end of the year, um, school record in receptions with 81 receptions, led the MVFC with 81 receptions and had 13 um, touchdown receptions. Ooh, wow, 13, that, that's pretty good, especially for a tight end at that level, including at least one in every MVFC um, game. So he's pretty consistent at that. And so he ranked 12th in the FCS in receptions per game with 6.8 and 7th in touchdown receptions with 13. Led the MVFC in receptions per game um, with 6.8 and ranked second in receiving touchdowns after starting all 12 games. Three straight 100-yard games against, um, let's see, Purdue, um, WIU, and USD. He had 10 receptions for 136 yards at Purdue and had 10 um, receptions at Illinois um, State. So, yeah, he certainly was balling out. You know, he ended up with 861 receiving yards, which ranked fifth in the single season um, at SIU history. And so, yes, yeah, certainly a tremendous talent, tremendous, tremendous talent. Um, many um, things that he accomplished at the tight end position that put him on the same level, if not higher than the receivers that, you know, was that he, he was playing with, competing against, you know, so that definitely brought some recognition to um, Michael for sure. So he certainly um, was fantastic and in terms of, you know, just some of the things that they said about him in terms of his comparison um, and just some stats they had of him, about him leading up to the draft. They had his pro um, comparison actually was Ben Watson. Um, an elite athlete with big potential as a receiver. And they said that he was Ben Watson-like traits and a lot of upside. So some of the strengths that they said was that he was athletic, you know, speedy tight end with moves, um, tight end traits. Uh, and they said that he will excite teams looking for a vertical threat. So um, that right there certainly is great for the 49ers. I mean, obviously you got Kittle, so as many tight ends as you can have, the better. You know, the better that tight end room, that just – that just makes everybody else's job that much more easier, honestly. So a guy like this is going to learn from, you know, arguably the best tight end in the game, you know, um, so that's going to bode well for a guy like him. Um, and so, yeah, he definitely, they're saying that, you know, he obviously he was a stud at the FCS level, you know, earning all American honors. And so there was a lot that um, they like about him. He's a clean catcher with soft, big hands. Um, and good concentration and traffic. He's confident in his catching ability and extends well away from his frame to make plays on the ball. They say Prue can play in line and motion or flex out from the formation. He's a solid blocker with sound fundamentals when asked to close down in the run game. Some of his weaknesses is that he isn't as explosive on the field as he showed at the Combine, and while among the most productive tight ends in college football, he was playing against subpar competition and has improved himself against NFL talent. And so, and as a route runner, he has to match the speed and agility of his workouts as his footwork and hip flexibility are a bit stiff and mechanical on film. So it seems like this guy's a workout warrior, you know, when it comes to obviously, you know, putting up the numbers when it comes to stats and well, I should say at the combine. Um, and so it's just a matter of him translating that against NFL competition. 
that's really the biggest knock, honestly. And that's not something that's, you know, his fault. You can't help it. You go up against at the collegiate level. But obviously, you know, that's something that he's been working on since his time in the NFL, you know. And so now that he's been in the league for some time, dating back to 2015 now, so this should be right around that time where he should start hitting strides. And so hopefully a team like the 49ers will be able to, you know, continue to coach him up and put him in the best position to where he can, you know, start tapping into that potential. So I'm excited to see how this, you know, works out for him moving forward. You know, obviously, whether it's Jimmy Garoppolo or Trey Lance, you know, throwing him the ball, that part is irrelevant. But one thing that I do know is that this kid is definitely a great athlete. He has been his entire um, life. And so definitely excited to see, you know, this opportunity with the 49ers and looking forward to see how this works out. So um, thank you so much again for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.